G'day guys, my name is Wildcard, welcome back to my channel. If you are watching this video, hit the subscribe button. Helps me out a lot with the algorithm, really do appreciate it. Chiefs versus the Brumbies, Super Rugby Round 12. This was a home game for the Chiefs, up against the number one ranked team in Super Rugby so far. Going into this game, I felt the Brumbies was gonna lose this one, to be frank. I thought the Chiefs, after beating the Crusaders a few weeks ago, was on the rise, potentially could knock the Brumbies off the top of the perch, and also the Brumbies hasn't really been tested. This is the first match that the Brumbies really been tested uh, against New Zealand teams, at least. So yeah, this was a game that I've criticized the Brumbies in the past, where they do way too much pointless kicking, just for the sake of playing the territory almost. And yeah, this game, the Brumbies really picked uh, pick and choose their kicking a lot better. They kicked the ball when it was needed for them to um, To control the game in the second half when they had the lead They didn't kick the ball away in the first half when they were uh, on the offense and the Chiefs on the other hand um, Despite Warren Gatlin's son being on the field. I thought they quite convincingly lost the kicking game in this match and as a result the Brumbies was able to control the game control the territory, control the positioning where they, they want the game to be played at. And um, yeah, putting the Chiefs, uh, quite a convincing win over the Chiefs uh, in New Zealand. Also, this was an, uh, another thing I sort of criticized the Brumbies a bit as well in the past is that they kind of shift away from their rolling more set piece and moving more towards the reliance on the kicking game. So this game, once again, they we saw... A more of a balanced approach from the Brumbies team where they went back to a lot of that rolling more four pack dominance play style of the 2021 era. This was a lot of that from the Brumbies as well. I really put the hurt on the Chiefs with some of the rolling mores. And then we saw the Brumbies managing those uh, those penalty kicks when it was needed to keep themselves ahead, keep the scoreboard ticking over. Only criticism I have for the Brumbies is maybe uh, at times I felt like they could probably gone for a try especially when they had the dominance in the lineouts i felt like instead of going for three points there were a few opportunity they should have opted for the for the for the line out and going for the bit of a more adventurous a approach but nevertheless the uh dan keller has really polished up this team quite well and it's looking like the brumbies are going to be yeah heading into the Final two rounds with very tough oppositions against the Crusaders and the Blues. And it's starting to look like they could very well um, finish on top of the ladder uh, coming towards the end of the, the season. So yeah, this was incredibly good game from the Brumbies. And for the Chiefs, they actually did quite well in some parts of the game as well. Quinton Tupaya was really, really good when he got the ball. He was making a lot of really hard running line breaks, setting up a lot of opportunities. But the Chiefs, seems like the handling was a little bit off tonight. There were quite a few offloads that just seems to not go the Chiefs' way. The accuracy is just a bit lower than what you were expecting. Yeah, and that's really hurt the Chiefs quite a bit. The And I, I already mentioned the kicking game. The Chiefs uh, really was falling behind quite a bit with with the um with the kicking game so overall let's quickly go through the stats chiefs 334 run meters to the brumbies 344 123 carries to the 83 carries to the brumbies really brumbies control the kicking game just give you some uh stats at half time the half time the chiefs only was actually leading in the run meters 156 to 123 despite being behind on the scoreboard 14 points to 15. chiefs despite having more run meters had like slightly more run meters, I would say 156, 123. Chiefs had almost doubled the carries than the Brumbies. So that tells you the defense from the Brumbies is much better. So Chiefs had 63 carries to the Brumbies 33 at half time. So way better defense from the Brumbies at half time. And then also the uh, one of the things that the t turnovers conceded at half time, seven to the Chiefs to the Brumbies two. Second half, the Chiefs conceded another eight to the uh, Brumbies, only conceded, conceded four turnovers. So that really hurt the Chiefs. And a lot of these turnovers are just small mistakes by their own players. And it was really, yeah, something that the polish is just not there for the Chiefs team. Missed tackles, uh, Chiefs 106 tackles, 14 missed tackles. 
Brumbies, 188, 24 missed tackles. Kicks in play. Now, this is a really interesting stat. At half time, the kicking was 12 to the Chiefs, 13 to the Brumbies. So the kicking game, in terms of just pure numbers, was quite even at half time. And it, it was and, and the second half, the Chiefs just completely fell off the kicking game. Only eight kicks in the second half of the Chiefs to the Brumbies. Um, how many was it? 19 kicks in the second half. So the Brumbies really ramped up the kicking game when they were ahead and really pinged the Chiefs in their own half, forcing them to do a lot of stupid things like trying to run the ball out of their own half. Uh, in fact, forcing a penalty, uh, not a penalty, forcing a drop ball at one point, for scoring a try, uh, scoring a counter attack, attack opportunity for a try. So yeah, this was... Um, really hurt the Chiefs as well. Also, four penalty goals for the Brumbies. Overall, this was quite a, quite, um, yeah, this really well executed strategy by the Brumbies. Lionels, two losses for the Brumbies, one for the Chiefs, one scrum loss for the Chiefs. Uh, penalty count, nine against the Chiefs, 10 to the Brumbies. Pretty even overall, but it's, it's the biggest issue here is the kicking game, as you can see from the stats here. Yeah, really fell behind. For a team that, with Warren Gatlin in the coaching side, I really didn't think that the Chiefs was going to lose to the Brumbies in the kicking game. I thought the Chiefs were, yeah, yeah, really interesting stuff there. So let's quickly go through some of the actions throughout the game. So seven minutes, uh, yeah, so right from the get-go, the New Zealand commentators were complaining from the, the Chiefs kicking game was poor. Yeah, it was poor. The Chiefs kicking game was really poor right, right from the get-go. Seven minutes into the game, um... The, there was a the Chiefs had a bit of a handling error in in, in their own uh, own team. They dropped the ball. Tom Wright gets the ball, puts the foot down, runs through like I don't know. He ran past like a huge group clump of Chiefs defenders, and links up with his wingers on the side. Just good hands, draw and pass. Uh, P. Samu gets tackled short on the uh, on the wing. He gets the uh, on the wing. He was like two meters short, and then. Nick White gets it. He looks up. The Chiefs player, I think it was... Um, who was it? That was the Chiefs player there. I think it was... Um, no. I think he's uh, Sowakula. Uh, he was like complaining about something. So he wasn't watching the rocks. And Nick White sees this, picks up the ball, runs the... Just basically tiptoes down the side, like on the line... Goes over for the try. Um, yeah, like really, there was basically no space uh, on the try line uh, on the on the short side. But saw a cooler was complaining something. He wasn't looking at the ball. Nick White just goes straight through, uh, tiptoes through the side, sneaks in for the first try for the Brumbies. And then on the eleventh minute, Quinn Tupaya did some really really good running. Bumps over one defender, makes a half break, still gets a hand free off low to. Um, uh, to Nankerville goes helps the Chiefs in for their first try. Seven points apiece. Uh, team leveled at 11 minutes in. Two minutes later, what's his name? Gatlin gets charged down. Valentini look like he's gonna score another try off a uh, uh, off a bit of a soccer skill. He runs out. He's he's no one near him. Uh, Gatlin has to turn around to chase him. He was way behind, but the ball was just like bouncing really awkwardly on the ground. So Valentini tries to tow the ball through, but the ball was bouncing so awkwardly, he couldn't even strike the ball cleanly while he was like trying to uh, kick, chip the ball into the in-go area. Eventually he gets there, but the ball was actually short of the try line when Valentini gets his hand on the ball. And at this point, what's his name? Galland gets back in time to kind of knock the ball out of his hands and did not get this try. So this was super close to Valentini to get that second try on the board. Um, and then a few minutes later, the Brumbies gets a uh, scrum uh, penalty. They set this scrum penalty up for a 5 meter line out. Sets up a more just typical Brumbies style. Sets up the more amongst the confusion. If Ianga uh, sports the space, detaches himself, barges over, too too strong, too close, goes in for the second try for the Brumbies. 15 minutes into the game, 21st minute, Brumby gets a penalty. Uh, I thought this should be going for a line out. Uh, the commentators were talking about how the Brumbies should go for a line out because that more from that Fianga try looks so good. Suddenly the Brumbies goes, yep. Uh, Nick White goes, uh, screw you. He was like listening to the commentary. Like, I think it was, um, who was it? Might have been uh, Justin Marshall. Nick White's like, shut up, Justin Marshall. 
I know what I'm doing. Ops was three points. So uh, well, I think Adjusted Mushroom is like, oh, okay. Uh, proves me wrong. And then, um, yeah, so the Brombies gets the uh, three points kick from this penalty. 15 points to seven, 21 minutes into the game. So I'm really hard running for um, for the Chiefs following up uh, this this try was following up this follow this try. The Chiefs gets back to front floor with a really good hard running. Gallen gets a nice inside ball to Luke Jacobson, who loops who who also gets um gets uh, gets through uh, 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 the defense. He then offloads the ball to Ratama as he's running into the final defender. Ratama runs in for a beautiful try on the 25th minute for the Chiefs. And uh, yeah, Chiefs suddenly hits himself back in front in, in the game. 14 points to 15. And going into half half time, the Brumbies gets one last opportunity. This bit of a style man gets one last opportunity to take three points on the ball just before half time on the um, 29th minute. They kick that. So Brumbies 18, Chiefs 14. Um on the thirty, on the last minute of the halftime, Chiefs really looking like they're gonna score a try just before halftime, which is what would have been a really important try for them as well. The um, Chiefs gets held up over the try line, yeah, and there was a goal line dropout, and that was the uh, opportunity, golden opportunity that Chiefs kind of like failed to convert into a um, a try. So, <clears throat> bit of mismanagement there just before halftime. Second half start, um, the Brumbies comes in. It was just. The came out absolutely firing. So easy. The first try, two minutes in. Uh, Tom Wright gets the ball. Uh, basically, Brombis was just straight up pressuring the Chiefs' try line. Already about 10 minutes out. Tom Wright gets the ball. He draws, I think, two defenders. Yeah, he draws two defenders. And then gets the ball th free to, Va um, not Valentini, to Ikitao. Ikitao just slides through this big gap that was opened up. Straight in for the first try for the Brumbies. This was absolutely awesome, awesome. And this was followed up by some really just hard running for the, from the Brumbies. Valentini just running and getting over the advantage line. And then everyone in the Brumbies team just following out the momentum, building some pressure up. And uh, yeah, Tom Wright just, yeah, looked like he was a center, you know, but he was actually playing on wing. And uh, something that was really, really impressive. On the 50th minute, the Chiefs, um, had a really good opportunity to attack. So Chiefs was basically uh, like losing the kicking game at this point. So they were just like trying to run the ball out of their own half. They actually make a, made a nice break at this point. So they make some nice break. They got inside the, the Brumbies half just inside the 50. They dropped the ball. And Nick Y gets the ball, pops the ball down the field, 50-22. That was really, really, really painful. So, um, uh, so yeah. So then the, the Brumbies gets an opportunity to to attack a five meter line out from this 50-22. The Chiefs defends, but they were given away a penalty uh, for an offside. And I think the same can get caught off his feet. Brumbies takes the opportunity to take three points, to keep themselves, keep the scoreboard ticking over. 14 points to 28 with about 30 minutes left. On the third 58th minute, there was a beautiful line out by the Chiefs, finally getting. I think this might be the first opportunity they had in the Chiefs, uh, like a line out opportunity in the Chief, uh, in the in the Brumbies, uh, twenty two. It's beautiful line out, goes long, the ball comes uh, go, goes up high, and then what's his name? So uh, Kula loops around the big man number eight. He gets the ball popped down to him. He runs straight at Lola Seal, and Lola Seal just like pooped his pants, and then he runs in for an easy try for the Chiefs, fifty seventh minute. Suddenly, the Chiefs get themselves back in the game. 21 points to 28. One try behind. Uh, and then the Brumbies management starts to come in. On the um, on the 67th minute, the Brumbies gets another opportunity to kick three points. Lola Seo kicks this one. And then on the 70, uh, 70th minute, Valatini once again makes huge run. Makes a nice break. Offloads to uh, Pollard. Goes in for another try for the Brumbies. Suddenly the gap is opened up another 10 points. 38 points to 21. The Chiefs starts to fall behind and the clock is running out. So the kicking game for the Brumbies is really giving a lot of problems to the Chiefs in the second half. Chiefs are really struggling to run the ball out of their own half. Finally on the 78th minute, Chiefs piggybacking some uh, penalties. And uh, 
uh, and then getting inside the Brumbies half again. They basically had, yeah, just piled on pressure and just really just crash ball, crash ball. Eventually, Akoi crashes through for the Chiefs on the 78th minute. And uh, this ball gets converted quickly. 28 points to 38. Still too far behind. Not able to get there for a bonus point uh, following the kickoff. And that's the way the game ended. Yeah. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. I thought the Brumbies really, really played well this game. Uh, I've criticized the Brumbies despite them pretty much being the best Australian team in the this year. I've criticized them a lot for their over over kicking game uh pointless kicking game and uh, pressure low pressure kicking game but this game this match the uh brombies did a much much better job with regards to their kicking and did a much better job in managing uh the game uh, i mean they've always been good at managing the game and uh yeah really good to see and uh very happy with the win for the brombies let me know your thoughts in this game guys and thank you for watching this video i do appreciate it we've got the crusaders versus western force coming up and uh i'll see you guys for that one cheers